Good morning, my students, and welcome to another edition of our class, uh, Computer Literacy and Information Technology. I want us to do something very, very important and interesting about Microsoft Word. And uh, I'm going to take you through the various lessons. Please take your time and watch this video to the end. Because at the end of this video, trust me, you can develop or you can prepare your own cover page with respect to assignment where you can have your name, the university name, the, your department, the school logo, have borders and the rest. It is going to be an interesting and interactive uh, section of our course or our topic, Microsoft Word. So please stay tuned and listen to or watch whatever I will take you to. So as usual, I will share my screen with you and take you through the, the necessary steps that you are supposed to take. Okay, so if I'm launching my Microsoft Word. Okay, so this is my Microsoft Word uh, application and I'm going to use it to design or develop my assignment uh, cover page or a cover page for any of my assignment. So this is my page and I believe you all know how you can the step that you have to go through to launch a Microsoft application. So this a Microsoft Word application. So this is my page. So I'm going to type, for example, you are in at University of Energy and Natural Resources. So I'm going to take you through. So as usual, university, I'm going to type Investor of Energy and Natural Resources. You are in School of Sciences. So School of Sciences, Department, Department of Basic and Applied Biology. Then course code, course name, Lecturer or course lecturer. Then in this number, that is you, the student in this number. So student in this number. So this is the basic information or the important information that I need in order to design my cover page. So after typing this. I'll select it, I want to center it. So I'll center it, I'll go to um, the alignment area, I'll center it, so this is the center. I'll center it, I'll increase the font size. I'll increase the font size, change the font to, you know, yes, I, I've used the Algerian font and uh, let me also increase the font size again. Okay, so this is, uh, Okay, Department of Basic and Applied Biology. So student, course lecturer, student ID. So your course code, so you all know that course code is in uh, 103. The course name is computer literacy and information technology. The first lecturer is Dr. Peter Fairham. Okay, let me board it, okay. Okay, so for clarity's sake, I can decide to, then if, for example, the student in that number is U, G, W, one, three, one, three, or two, one. So this is the student in this number. I'm going to reduce the student in this number. Huh? I just want to ask for the student in this number. It can, can, it can come down to this point. 
the cost lecturer to I can decrease or reduce the cost, uh, the font size. The cost code to I can reduce. Okay. I want all of them to be on one page. Okay. So I'm going to, I want to insert the university logo in between School of Sciences, in between the School of Sciences and the resources here. So I'm going to insert it here. So as usual, I, I believe I've already taken you through how you can insert a picture. So I'll, I'll place the case at where I want to insert them, go to insert, go to insert, go for, go to the picture, click on the pictures, then it will take me to my desktop. But you have to know where the picture is for. In my case, I, I have the logo, the university logo on my desktop. So I'll click on desktop, then I'll drag through and see, where is it, where is it? Have I deleted it? I can't see it. So let me quickly I have access to internet. So I'm going to quick, I'm going online to quickly download the investi. Um, so I'll type in there. Once I type in there, this in there, images. So this is the investi logo. 20 of them. So I'll download it. Save us. So I want it to be on my desktop. I'll rename it as logo. Save it. So it has been downloaded. So I'm going back. So go to insert pictures, desktop. Now it's here. So click on. So this is the university logo. So this is my assignment. It is still. It is still occupying or going beyond. Uh, okay. Okay. Okay, so this is my assignment page. And I'm going to add borders. So if I want to add borders, I'll go to layout. Okay, I'll go to design. When you go to design, you go to page borders, you can see it. So you, if you want to add borders, you go to design, you click on design on the menu bar, you go to page borders. When you click on page borders, you, to give you the option to select. So these are different page borders. And the are page borders. If I select this and click on OK, you see it's nicely on my, at the borders. So you can choose any page border that you want. We even have page border that are at. If you want to look, you see at here, this art, you can change the color of the page borders to even uh, any of any color of your choice. See that it is now green. Okay, but <clears throat> if, if you change it to a color and you are printing it and you don't use a colored printer, you don't get it. Always you get a black and white, but we don't need this black, uh, the colored tint to, to maintain it as automatic, which is black. You can also use arts. For example, I can use trees, these small, small trees. So this is my page borders. I believe you are enjoying it. So from now on, whenever you are submitting your assignment, please take your time and design this nice. Uh, but please, for the purpose of academics, you don't use these uh, pictures as your page borders. Uh, just pick the lines. Uh, if you don't use it, I just wanted to show you, show you to you or teach you that you can use it. You even have it in a 3D or customized. Let me click on it. So this is how. So you can prepare your design your cover page in the assignment, in the assignment that you do, you can now prepare your own cover page for that. You also have what we call another important distance that we call the uh, uh, watermark, watermark. For example, you want, I want my index number to be the watermark like, like this. So I'll go to insert, you see the watermark here? This is the watermark. When you click on watermark, when you click on this watermark, it will give you options, see confidential. So maybe you can customize the watermark. So click on uh, customize the uh, watermark. Okay. So you can use a picture as a watermark. If you use a picture as a watermark, 
then you have to select the feature. So I'm going to use the inverse logo as, as the watermark. So select, select. The system is now processing it. I want to use the inverse logo as a watermark. Then you can also use, okay, you said, okay, the watermark, let's first use the test. Okay, test. So now I'm going to use my index number as, so if your index number is U, E, U, um, U, W, one three one three one three. Oh, if this man applied, so you see, have you seen it? So you see the small, the UE two nine two nine. That is the watermark that I'm talking about. So you can even use the picture. That is what I wanted to show you. You can also remove it after then. You can remove it. So I've removed the watermark. If I want to do it, say custom watermark picture. Uh, select it work offline okay so you have to select offline so i'm going to choose the university logo as my watermark picture so click on desktop you go here you can use your own picture logo then insert apply okay so have you seen the investing logo as a watermark it's just like it, it will be on the background very light that is what we mean by watermark that is what we mean by watermark. So you can do a lot of things on using Microsoft Word. You can change the orientation, like you can change the orientation with, with the orientation. You have the portrait and also the landscape. When you click on the landscape, you'll get it in, in, a, in, 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 in the wood. The wood will increase. You, it will be in a wood form. So there is the landscape. It will expand like, like uh, five or six people when they take a picture. When the picture is being printed, you see it in a, in, in a landscape form. That's what you mean by the landscape form. And the portrait is like you are taking a picture. You, one person, when you are taking a full picture, like a height with your height, you see it in that format. That is what you mean by the portrait. So you know the difference. We also have page now, imagine. You can have, but this is the normal. You can have the narrow. Then the customized, the columns.